So a few months ago, I got the Elgato prompter and it quickly completely changed my workflow for filming videos and reviews. But the biggest issue I had with it was perfecting my setup with it so I could use a laptop and also keep all my different devices powered so I never had to worry about battery life while filming. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I took this Parrington AV cart and I turned it into the ultimate talking head video setup for YouTube videos. If you want any of these components, I'm gonna have links for all of them in the description below. And also this is an ever evolving setup and I put this video off for a few months, but I feel like I've got it pretty well dialed in to where I'm now ready to show off the features of this setup. What I like about this car is it gives me plenty of space to keep all my different components. And I'm also able to attach this pro aim arm to the side of it. So this is just bolted to the side as a clamp on it. And then there's a crank on this so I can loosen this and I can raise and lower the camera as needed. Then on the side of it, I've got this Neewer battery and I'm using this to power the camera and I can also power a monitor with it as well. On this shelf, I have all my different camera batteries and other things I wanna keep charged up if I'm using my stuff on the go. So it's nice to have everything in one centralized location. For the camera rig, I'm using the Lumix S52X and I'm writing directly to SanDisk ProBlade SSDs using the Condor Blue handle. Then we're recording audio directly to the camera using the Lumix XLR interface. And I have this magic arm by iFootage and I use this to boom the mic just out of frame. I love this setup because I get really crisp audio using the Sennheiser MKH-50 and all the audio is just ran directly into the camera so I never have to worry about syncing audio in post. So we have the iFootage magic arm clamped directly onto the side of the Pro-Aim geared column. Then on the camera, I'm using the Condor Blue cage. I love this cage because it's super heavy duty. It does a great job at keeping all my accessories attached and out of the way whenever I have my rig set up. Then on the front of the camera, we're using the Elgato prompter. This just slides directly onto a filter thread adapter on the camera lens. I use this for all my scripts and I also use it as a camera monitor as well. Then I use either the drop leaves or the top of the cart to put my MacBook Air on it. I use this just to keep all my scripts loaded and I use the Camera Hub app as a way to rock all my different scripts. And then I use OBS to create a screen window that I drag over to the other side and put below the Camera Hub app. That way I can have my script on top of the video feed. This computer is powered and I'm connected to my Elgato prompter and foot pedal all through a Sonnet dock. And that's all just by the one Thunderbolt 4 cable. Then this dock is what my individual components are connected to. And I also run my camera into the A10 Mini Pro. I use this as a way to display my feed on my Elgato prompter and also I can use this to live stream as well. So there's the whole AV cart setup. If you are interested in buying any of the individual components, I'll have links for everything in the description below. And if I missed anything, or if you have any ideas of how to improve it, leave a comment, I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.